Today we are going to discuss power and leadership. John French and Bertram Raven wrote one of the most interesting studies on power. They were both social psychologists, one at the University of Michigan and the other at UCLA. Their work, Five Bases of Social Power, was published in 1959. I am going to summarize these five points for you today. Almost everyone is capable of gaining power. The question is, how does someone build leadership abilities so they can maintain that power? Learning about power can help us recognize the power in others. In this way, we can better understand the influence they have over us. French and Raven identified five bases of power. They are 1. Legitimate. If people have the right to make demands that others need to obey, they have legitimate power. 2. Reward. If there is compensation for obeying the rules of others, the power is based on reward. 3. Expert. If a person has superior skill, experience, or knowledge, he or she has the power of an expert. 4. Referent. If a person is respected by others for something we value, such as beauty or special talents, we refer power to them. 5. Coercive. If a person can punish others, that person has power over them. Okay, let's dig deeper into the meaning of these terms. French and Raven divide these bases of power into two categories, positional and personal power sources. Let's look at the positional power sources. Legitimate power. As you can probably figure out, elected officials, company executives, kings, and police chiefs have legitimate power. Legitimate power is very strong, but can you guess what the problem is? It can be lost easily if there is a new election or, in some countries, a revolution. Reward power. Usually, the rewards given have to be approved by others. Rewards include a salary bonus or a corner office, for example. Sometimes, the same reward can be less effective as time passes. Coercive power. Relying only on force can lead to unhappiness, criticism, and possibly a revolt by the victims of punishment. So, obviously, leaders who want to maintain power need to develop power sources that are not only position-based. French and Raven label these as personal power sources. They are expert and referent power. Specialists in their field, lawyers, or others who are well known for solving problems and outperforming others, have expert power. Celebrities exemplify those who have referent power. Others look up to them and admire them. They gain people's respect because they are famous or likable, and as a result, they have a lot of influence over others. Many believe that the best leaders rely on expert and referent power. It is also worth noting that these two sources are also ones we can develop ourselves. We can go to school to get a degree and perform well on the job so that others admire our work. Okay, that ends the lecture for today. Organize your notes and come to class with questions on Wednesday.